Hi everybody, hope you are all well. So I've got an infill here for you today. So lots of filing as you always request it from me. So um, I'm just going in with my e-file. Um, I did purchase this drill bit off eBay, but I have had a look and I can't find it anymore. Um, so I'm really sorry about it, but I always do use a medium grit. Um, and just on a fastish set, um, what am I thinking? You know, like faster speed. Um, you know, just going all over the nails, taking a bit of the bulk down, obviously taking the shiny coat off. These did have some glitter on them, so I just try to take as much glitter off as I could. But we're going over with some gel polish and some glitter. Um, so the ones that had glitter on, I did take a bit more of the bulk down um, because obviously... Once you apply your glitter and then you encapsulate them again, you know, you don't want them to become too thick. So, as I say, concentrating on your growth line. Um, and obviously, if you are going in with a, another design, um, then just take your thickness down a bit. So, once obviously I had done all of that, then I will go in with my cuticle pusher um, and push them cuticles back. Now, you know, you don't want to be too rough doing this. You know, just gently push them cuticles back, um, you know, and then obviously on the... The nail plate you know if there's any skin left over then i'm going to go in with my um a file with the, the cuticle cleaning bit now my cuticle cleaning bit came in a set um you know it was like a rectangle and um, box and it just had loads of different drill bits in um and that's the one that I use out of that. Um, I've used it for a long time and it's always worked perfect for me. So, um, yeah, just going around that cuticle area, taking any of the dead skin off the natural nail plate. Again, you want to just do this gently, nothing too rough. You know, you don't want to damage that nail plate. This one, obviously, the nail had popped off. So, where I had obviously had to apply a new tip. Um, but these nails had been on for three weeks. Um, and, yeah, no problems with them, really, just apart from the one that, obviously, she had managed to lose. So, I am going to go in with my hand file um, and just neaten up, you know, like, any shape that had, you know, like, a grew or anything like that. So, we're just going for rounded ones. So, just making sure that everything is neatly back into shape and there. So, you know, go... Up your side walls, you know, uh, depending on what shape, obviously, you want, but, you know, you're always going to do your side walls. Um, and, you know, if it was like a stiletto or anything like that, you know, just keeping that shape nice and tidy. And then I will go over the whole nail with the nail, with the hand nail file and just smooth everything out and make sure that everything is neat and tidy. Um, and then... I don't show it, but I do dust all of the dust off the nails. I go in just on the natural nail bit that is grew with my dehydrator. Um, so I'm using at the minute CJP's um dehydrator, and I also use CJP's um acid primer, which is amazing so i do apply one coat of each of them and then i am ready to go in for my infill so i'm just going in with with my um neos neo nails um is a cover beige or natural beige i'm just infilling with that because that is the color that you had on her nails and anyways um so just building that strength back up on that nail and I'm also using my CJP Master Monomer and my Alpha Number 8 brush. So just as neatly as I can, as I say, I'm just filling in the growth. So just getting as close to that cuticle as, as, as I can, but without touching. So if you notice, I place it in the middle of the nail, um, you know, the middle of like where the cuticle area is and just with the tip of my brush I pat it out to either side um, and I always brush down sides first you know I find if you brush it down in the middle and then your edges just splurt out um, so as I say you know 
put it down into place tip of your brush move it across the nail and then as I say you know um then do your sides first and then worry about the middle of your nail it's just the way that I do it you know um and yeah it's it's that's just the best way that obviously I can explain how I do the nails so I am going in with um one of the glitters that I did review um the other day if you didn't see it you can go back just a couple of videos and I did do a review um on some gorgeous glitters so this is one of the glitters from nail stamping queen uk so you can go onto her website so it's nail stamping queen um, uk.co.uk I will leave it in the description box and these are so flipping holographic it is just unreal so um, when working with glitters I always work wetter than normal um, so picking a ball up of clear acrylic and then just dipping it into your raw glitter um, and then just moving it around the nail so obviously the acrylic and the glitter you know like get blended together um, and that's just the way that I find the easiest, um, you know, and acrylics is all a learning process. You know, you'll find the way that you you do it, you know, the easiest. We, we, all us YouTubers, you know, can say, oh, it's this way to do it and that way to do it. But try different other people's techniques, you know, and see what works for you. Um, you know, so this works for me. It mightn't work for you, but if it does, great. Um, so I always, if you can see, you know, I'm always just working with the very tip of my brush, you know, just moving it around. So anyways, I do go in and encapsulate them two nails as well and then remove all of the dust. So um, I'm going in with Madame Glam's gorgeous pink colour here. Yeah, this is called Bubblegum. Um, and it's just, it is a baby pink, but it kind of like... <laughs> it's like a uh, like a movie type pink it's it's really nice that's what i can say it's really nice fantastic coverage so i do apply two coats um in curing for 30 seconds each time in my led lamp and just making sure that i cap them free edges um when always working with gels so now i'm just going to add my blue sky non tacky gel top coat um, and watch this glitter just shine up guys it is so nice i definitely hope that you check this ladies um you know our website out because oh look they're so pretty um so just applying this to all of the nails i will pop them in my led lamp for 30 seconds again add some cuticle oil and that's it guys i yeah, end off with an amazing set of nails so i've left some pictures at the end for you i really hope that you enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye